I got into the hottest show on Broadway, Lin-Manuel Miranda's biographical play about Alexander Hamilton. Hamilton! It's incredible. Right, right, that's the, uh, the hip-hop musical. Hip-hop musical? Hip-hop musical? Yes, there's hip-hop, and yes, it's a musical, but that hardly describes the revelation, or should I say revolution, the show. It's electrifying, exhilarating, it's a hurricane of music. Patriotism and emotion. Oh, you know who gives me hurricane of emotions? Donald Trump. <laughs> right, so about him. Actually, Matt, we were just discussing our feelings on current candidates before you started talking about Alexander Hamilton nonstop. Ooh, nonstop! That's the name of one of the songs. It's about how Alexander works a lot and writes like he's running out of time. Yeah. It's a great track. Let me pull it up on my phone. <laughs> guys, guys, you haven't even heard about the breakup song King George sings to America. Guys! <laughs> You're listening to WJAZ, America's number one jazz station. <laughs> we'll be right jazz, but first, let's take some calls. Larry in Seattle, what's your jazz been in? Yeah, I like jazz. Oh, jazz! <laughs> Thanks for calling, Larry. <laughs> Larry in Texas, you're on the air. I like jazz, y'all. Yeah, jazz! <laughs> Very in Brooklyn. I'm like a jazz over here. <laughs> Don't forget about jazz. <laughs> this is Carl the Mailman Malone. You taught jazz. <laughs> long time, uh, first time listener, long time WWE diva, Carlene Begnaud. AKA Jazz. <laughs> Hi, what was the title of the Ken Burns series with the Founding Fathers? Jazz. <laughs> Hello? Hunt, what's your favorite kind of peanut butter? Chunky. And your favorite jazz? Smooth jazz! <laughs> Hi, um, uh, a, a, a red apple? Jazz! Jazz? Jazz! 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 jazz. <laughs> well, that's all the jazz we had. Back to more jazz. <laughs> jazz. Welcome everyone to the first meeting of the Committee of Town Weirdos. <laughs> I've invited you all here to the handicapped stall in the Applebee's women's bathroom. <laughs> For an important reason. There's been a lot of talk around town lately about getting rid of weirdos like us. I need you to help come up with some ways we can show them that we're a valuable part of this community. Uh, to kick things off, please state your weird names and your weird credentials. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Stefan. I'm the hoarder slash shut-in type. Uh, credentials. I have an extensive collection of jarred urine. Not all of it mine. Uh, <laughs> uh, my name is Jordan, and I'm a sexually depraved deviant of the town. <laughs> as far as credentials goes, that's not a baby carrot in my pocket. I am just really, really happy to see you. <laughs> Hi, I, 
I'm, I'm Rachel. I'm the uh, possibly violent weirdo of the group. Uh, and uh, I was born without the ability to laugh. Kidding! Hey guys, uh, my name is Omar, and I'm new to town, and uh, I'm just looking to, to make some new friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let's hear some ideas, guys. How can we show this town that, uh, that it needs us? Yeah, yeah. Uh, everybody likes cats, right? How about we round up all the cats in town and bring them to my house? Okay, what if we go to Starbucks and just watch super hardcore porn? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, I love it, that's great. Um, I, I actually have a good one here. Okay, what if we uh, follow people? down the street at night, right? And then when they turn around to see who's following them, they just disappear. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Definitely. My, yes. my freak, my yeah, freak. I've got one. Um, we could uh, volunteer <laughs> to do community service. <laughs> like, rustle through their garbage? Like, give people hand jobs? <laughs> <laughs> like, watch them sleep? Um, well, I was actually thinking about volunteering at a, at a soup kitchen. <laughs> Anyone in there? I got a tinkle. <laughs> Occupado! <laughs> I think we're mostly on the right track with one notable exception. <laughs> uh, let's hear some more ideas, guys. What else do you got? Uh oh, how about we give a little bit of ourselves back into town? We send them uh, locks of our hair and our toenail clippings. Oh, yeah, Ooh. I got a long one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what if we're jerking off in the bushes, right? As <laughs> soon as someone runs by and they're like, hey, what's going on in there? We pop up really quick, all sweaty and out of breath, and we're just like, oh, exercising. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. Oh, guys, guys, guys. What if uh, I, I drag a body shaped tarp out to my car and I just like shove it in the trunk, you know? And then when someone turn, like sees who, what I'm doing, I just turn around to them and I go, Simple, simple idea, but uh, we could pass out flyers uh, around town. <laughs> like old newspapers? No, no, like nudie mags. Like ransom notes? <laughs> Just like regular flyers. Um, I, I happen to own a laser printer. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still in there? I got a sprinkle. Un momento, por favor. I think we're gonna pass, Omar. All right. But thanks. Uh, I think we're on the right track. Let's hear a few more ideas, guys. Okay. A uh, last one. We bury our secrets in their yards. Yes. yes. <laughs> oh, we forget to wear pants. Oh. We murder them. That's what he said. We could have a mixer! <laughs> like a support group? Oh, like a gangbang? Like a realistic <laughs> bloodletting? <laughs> like a backyard barbecue. Come on, I really got a dinkle! <laughs> Hi, caramba! <laughs> Look, Omar, this is a meeting for weirdos. It's become increasingly clear there's... Nothing weird about you. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting that vibe. <laughs> Sorry to have wasted your time. You know, I just thought the one place that a guy with no friends would come would be the committee of town weirdos. But I see that that's not the case. So uh, I'm gonna I'm just gonna squeeze. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna Excuse me. Thank you. <laughs> Who invited him? I, I swear to God, it wasn't me. I, I wouldn't do that. I'm a hoarder. <laughs> <laughs> and how do you know we were here? It's, it's, it's weird, man. I don't, I don't. Uh, was that poop there in the toilet before? <laughs> no! Omar? What a weirdo! <laughs> oh my, come back! Oh my God. <laughs>
Which one's yours? The one with the bowl cut. Yours? <laughs> Glasses. Looks like our kids are competing against each other. May the best mother's child win. <laughs> Bobby just lost his last baby tooth. He's turning into such a little adult. Leglock! Leglock him! <laughs> uh, you know, Peter is actually quite the little adult as well. He just started a lemonade stand vlog. <laughs> Kick the crotch! <laughs> uh, well, Bobby has quite the successful newspaper route tech startup. <laughs> Fish drop! Fish drop him! Good for him. You know, Peter just started reading Dostoyevsky. Break it! Break it off his body! <laughs> well, that, that, uh, that reminds me of when Bobby started walking instead of uh, taking an Uber to school because he's so environmentally conscious. <laughs> Snap the neck! Snap it! You know, Peter's first words were more juice and more federal funding for the arts. <laughs> Gouge the eye! Oh, well, oh. <laughs> we just took Bobby to the optometrist. The doctor said he can't even see race. <laughs> Last night he said at dinner the casserole would pair well with a Cabernet Sauvignon. Hadouken! <laughs> Seriously though, it seems like Peter just never listens to anything but NPR! <laughs> Brothers, please! You're ruining the chess match for everyone! Take it outside! Finish him! <laughs> Since you saw that little play. He's not even that into hip hop. He's only into Hamilton. Yeah. You guys stop out the Hamilton! <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. Are these Hamilton tickets? No! <laughs> uh, Sir Mix a lot. Oh, hey! What's wrong with Sir Mix a lot? He's no Alexander Hamilton. <laughs> uh, he is an excellent rapper. Did Sir Mix a lot ever rap? Yo, I'm just like my country, I'm young, scrappy, and hungry. Uh, <laughs> no, but he did rap. She sweat. Wet. Gotta go on like a turbo vet. What about when we finally drive the British away? Lafayette's wait in the Chesapeake Bay! Brooklyn <laughs> rolls a Honda, playing workout tapes by Fonda. Thomas, that was a real nice declaration. Welcome to the present, we're running a real nation. My anaconda don't want none unless you got buns, hon. Oh, you know who else has buns, hon? <laughs> 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 Sweet Barry Lickums, I got some great news for you. I have something to tell you, Putin. Really? Same time. One, two, three. I'm, I'm pregnant! pregnant. <laughs> That's wonderful! Yeah, it is, but Kitty Face, why did you say you're pregnant? Because, little sugar bear. I'm gonna have a baby. <laughs> I know, cuddly bear, my baby, the one in my tummy. Oh, yes, little sugar pudding pop. We're gonna have your baby, but we're also gonna have my baby. <laughs> the one growing in my tummy, too. Oh, what's the shatter? Boom, boom, ba -ba -ba. <laughs> I thought you'd be excited. <laughs> Oh, fuzzy gums, it's just, <laughs> with you being a man, I feel like your pregnancy kind of overshadows mine. <laughs> like, people might think it's more important. No, <laughs> don't worry, little lemon weasel. That will be the case, I promise. You're probably right, sweet cactus. <laughs> Charlie?
Kelly, I can't believe I'm saying this, but you are definitely pregnant. <laughs> it's a miracle! Oh. It's, it's, it's incredible! It's amazing! <laughs> well, salami sandwich, at least my parents would be excited for me. Mom, Dad, I'm pregnant. Oh, congratulations, Michelle. That's really cool. Thank you. And you know, it's it's uh, not really a big deal, but I, I happen to be pregnant too. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> what? That is the most exciting news I have ever heard in my entire life. <laughs> The grandparents of a miracle oh baby! <laughs> Two miracle babies! No, no. It's like one and a half! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, little kiwi kisser. You know, last night I got a call from a late night television host. And they want to have us on in nine months. You can give your announcement to the entire world. That's right, man. I'm due any day now. Wow, and how does it feel to be the first ever pregnant man, Charlie? Oh, it just feels fabulous. But you know what? My wife has something important that she wants to share with the whole world. I'm pregnant, too. Oh. Oh, all right. Uh, are you excited to be a father, Michelle? She's going to make a wonderful father. And, you know, I, I just have to say, I know I'm going to make the world's best mother, too. Oh, oh, my God. My water just broke. And, you know, I'm going to oh. I'm gonna love her way less probable. Po I'm going to love her baby probably just as much <laughs> as I love my own. Because, you know... Her baby is also kind of like my own. Oh, yes, yes, yeah. Oh, Charlie, you are the funniest. And may I say, you look absolutely radiant, just glowing. Please, someone take me to the hospital. I'm going into labor. Oh, God. Thank you. Uh, she looks fine, too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my water just broke. Oh, oh, no. Uh, someone get this man to a hospital. He's going into labor. Can I get a ride? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> It's a miracle boy! Oh, beautiful! Oh, no! I don't need your help! Oh, God! Behold! I made this my baby girl! I'm so proud of you, my little fantastic tubular! <laughs> I'm proud of you too, cocksucker. <laughs> the full moon tonight. Uh, we should have never come on this camping trip. I, I think we'll be safe in this cabin. Uh, guys, there's something I need to tell you. Um, I'm a wear person. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did you say wear person? Uh, I, I think she means werewolf. You probably meant werewolf. Oh, no, no, no. I'm, I, I'm sorry. I, I did mean wear person. Uh, can I explain? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, I uh, I was born a wolf. Right? And then one night, a human bit me. <laughs> and so now, every month, uh, for the 29.5 consecutive days between full moons, I'm cursed with a, an affliction that turns me into a human. Therefore, we're a person. Oh. <laughs> Just so I'm clear, you spend the majority of your time the 29.5 consecutive days between full moons as a human, correct? That is correct, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, skeptical. It sounds to me that you're a person who once a month changes into a wolf. Which is a werewolf. <laughs> uh, but I was born a wolf, so were person. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. Every full moon, though, 
you still turn into a wolf, right? Right. Werewolf! Yeah! I, I'm sorry, guys. I misspoke. I turn back into a wolf. Where person? <laughs> <laughs> so you're a wolf. Mm -hmm. Who changes into a person? Yep. For the 29.5 29 days between full moons. moons. <laughs> Bingo! Okay, question. Can silver bullets kill you? Yeah. Because you're a werewolf? <laughs> I'm sorry, I should have been more clear on that one. That's my bad. That's my bad. Uh, yeah, they can kill me, but you know, not so much because they're silver, more because they're like bullets. <laughs> you know, I'm not a werewolf. <laughs> I'm a were person! Oh. <laughs> so, given this scenario, do you wake up in a field covered in sheep's blood? Oh, you know, you're probably thinking of werewolves. <laughs> I, I, I want to remind you, I'm a were person. Oh. <laughs> you know, most mornings, for the 29.5 consecutive days each month, I wake up in my own bed, I shower, I eat some Frosted Flakes, I go to work at Microsoft. That's interesting. You know, despite your affliction, you live a relatively normal human life. Yeah. Well, normal for a human, sure, but I want to remind you, I was born a wolf that turns into a human for the 29.5 consecutive days each month. Isn't that the same amount of time that werewolves <laughs> spend in their human form as well? Yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, for all practical purposes, the, the differences between uh, werewolves uh, and werepeople uh, is really just a matter of semantics. You know, we, we spend the same amount of time in wolf form, the same amount of time in human form, and during the full moon, we're both, like, completely consumed by a bloodthirsty murder loss. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, I didn't know about any of this. I am. Yeah, really... Really sorry we mistook you for a werewolf. Ah! <laughs> you, you know, guys, I, I think we need to take into consideration that the moon is now full, and if correct, Rachel's going to change into a wolf and murder us all. Wouldn't you agree? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Shall we, <laughs> shall we then? Mm -hmm. May we? Oh, be my guest. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> And this Matthew is an intervention. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, Matt, <clears throat> ever since you saw that stupid play, um, you, just, uh, you haven't been the same. You're living like it's the late 1700s. Well, last week I texted you, sup? And then yesterday, a man on a horse rolled up to my house and delivered your reply. N.M., you winky face. The <laughs> letter is a more dignified means of communication. Matt, I've tried going to your house so many times this past week, but your lights are always off. Well, I did away with electricity, and going to bed at 6 o'clock has really cut down on the cost of candles. You're covered in fleas! <laughs> oh, you try sleeping on a straw mattress without getting fleas. <laughs> Bro, you smell like shit. Yo, you know who else smells like shit? Donald Trump. Boom! This guy gets it! Yeah. <laughs> Obviously that was pandering. <laughs> Anyways, of course I smell like shit. I stopped bathing. Matthew, and why exactly have you stopped scrubbing the Liberty Bells? Well, to be more like Alexander Hamilton. Everything I'm doing is to be more like him. Oh god, is that why you're, you're using cheese as Neosporin? Bingo. <laughs> right now, the world is a scary place. The country is divided, everything feels apocryphal. I saw the Hamilton play and it was like looking to a magical window into a better time. A time of color, a time of song, a time of hope. A time when an orphan could become a founding father, building a free nation. I saw, I saw a way to be better. I saw a way to make the world better. And 
that's that's why I'm living like Alexander Hamilton. Dog. No, this is who I am now. If, if we if you can't accept that, we can settle it with a duel, a four-way duel, a no, quadruple. Matt, Matt, Matt. <laughs> Look, man, I'm sorry that we judged you. Okay. Remember when I had my Katniss phase and I had my hair in braids and a bow and arrow? You supported me through that. Yeah, and you looked ridiculous. Yeah, you know what? You're, you're right. I'm, I'm sorry, man. You know, I think we're all sorry. Are you, are you sorry, uh, Charlie, the behavioral therapist? Matthew, I feel it is my professional opinion to tell you that your friend's support of this delusional behavior will eventually lead an emotional train wreck. Oh, you know who else is an emotional train wreck? Oh god, we get it! Yeah. Donald Trump! This guy! <laughs> <laughs> On that note, I feel we all walk away awkwardly in separate directions. Yeah, I'm good with that. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> Masturbation, all-time high, and yet, and yet, our internet pornography sales are down 50%. <laughs> Customers just aren't opening our emails anymore, sir. We need a, we need a subject line that's fire. <laughs> something, that's, something that people can click on. <laughs> fire, warmth like heat. Want to get hot pussy. <laughs> setting it now, sir. Oh, oh, no, obviously full of viruses. Delete! No clicks, sir. All right, all right. Uh, <laughs> Asian, anal, gangs, <laughs> on the loose. <laughs> Sent. Asian, anal, blues, glands, gland, gang, oh, ugh! <laughs> Glands? Oh, anal glands delete! <laughs> it's a miss, sir. Okay. It was probably too similar to anal glands. In my experience, the word glands just isn't sexy. <laughs> 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 all, right, all right, New space, new space. Uh, Mississippi <laughs> genital scraping video. <laughs> all right, sir. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, all right. Uh, a guy named Morgan sucking a bunch of dicks. <laughs> <laughs> the no way go can say goes. Delete. No one wants to see that. All right. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to fight. Mm. Hurt. <laughs> That's not quite a knockout. Oh, delete. <laughs> no clicks, sir. All right. Uh, Donald Trump, tiny fingering Chris Christie. It's <laughs> <laughs> topical. Uh, Bernie guy here. Delete. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right. All right. Uh, two deeply discounted tickets to Humpy Dump Tit Town. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, oh, I'd rather go to bumfuck Egypt. No! <laughs> All right, sir. Uh, 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 uncensored celebrity dick out dance party. <laughs> I feel good about this. Uh, no, 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 no. No, sir. Fuck! Just the word fuck, sir. No, I have uh, ideas. Uh, I don't even know why we bother. Permission to inspire, sir? <laughs> <laughs> you are the best porn email subject line writer in the business. Your work on the one with my P period, U period, S period, S period, Y period campaign was a revelation. No, a revolution. <laughs> Who would have thought that by strategically placing a period between every letter we could bypass spam filters? <laughs> Only you. <laughs> so don't give up. We'll think of something, okay? I mean, it's not like no one wants to see these nice naked women. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Sir? No one wants 
used to see these nice naked women. And then ended with a frowny face. God <laughs> help us, sir. I want to see you. I want to see you. Mom, I'm going to need the credit card. Sir. It's a hit. Yes. <laughs> oh, she looks nice. <laughs> Soldiers, fall in! Tonight is the night. Tonight is the night we end this war. Let's get him, Sarge. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the plan. Tonight at 0200 hours, we're going to sneak into the enemy camp. We're going to be dressed in our ghillie suits and our face paints. And while they're sleeping, we're going to sneak up on them and tickle the heck out of those silly gooses. Yeah! Uh, uh, what? <laughs> they won't know what hit them. Sarge, <clears throat> that will never work. What? And why not? They wear Kevlar armor. And last time, I stubbed my fingers. <laughs> You're right. We'll just look like a bunch of doofuses. Yeah. Doofuses. Our tickle fingers will never get through their reinforced armor. All right. New plan! Tonight, we will sneak into their camp. We will take a can of gasoline. And we will pour it all over their base. Then we shall fill it up with warm water and dip their hands in it so they pee their beds. <laughs> <laughs> they'll be so embarrassed, they'll have to quit the war. Uh, Sarge, that also will not work. They wear gloves. What? Seen it. Damn! It's tough being a sergeant! War is heck! Oh, 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 oh! We short their sheets! Uh, they sleep in sleeping bags. Oh. What about taking their clothes while they're in the shower? Time. 
<laughs> Sneak on board the milk truck. You can pull it off whatever hijinks you want. Mm, excellent! Doink! Soldiers, take him away! Uh, and don't forget to say hi to Kay. Oh, girls me. are lucky! <laughs> excellent! All right, soldiers! New plan! Tonight, during nap time, we are going to sneak in on that milk truck. And while they're sleeping, we'll wake them up, we'll line them up, and pair them up. And then we'll make them play seven minutes in heaven. <laughs> I mean, that cannot be great for their morale. <laughs> documentary on the Founding Fathers. Oh. Yes. Uh, no, Founding Fathers. So, um, I thought we could all watch it together. That sounds great. Yeah, I haven't seen any documentaries about Hamilton. I haven't read any books about him. <laughs> Nothing, yeah. <laughs> they take such a great diverse group of historical figures and turn them into a bunch of stuffy old white guys? Matt, every single founding father was a stuffy old white guy. Not in Hamilton. Uh, well, it's true. But Thomas Jefferson is black. Dude, Matt, Thomas <laughs> Jefferson is white. What? Yeah, you know, he, uh, he owned like 200 slaves. What? Yeah, and those slaves, those people, they were black. Oh. He said all men are created equal, but he literally treated people like property. <laughs> Jeez, that guy's awful. Yeah, he kind of is. What a hypocrite. <laughs> wow. Well, okay, what? Answer me this. Why aren't they speaking in the language of the revolution? Rap. <laughs> Please tell me that's not a serious question. Yeah, there's no choreography, no snappy Brit pop music by the King of England, no cast recording executive produced by The Roots, none of this is here! Wait, so you thought the Broadway play Hamilton, including the rhyming and the dancing, was a factual representation of life in the late 1700s? Obviously. Oh no. Uh, my whole life is a lie. Uh, oh, I... I like, I thought by like living I was like Hamilton, I was making the world a better place, but now, oh, I see the world is just a shitty, unmagical place full of shitty, unamazing people doing shitty things. No. <laughs> Shit. Matt, I, listen, listen, uh, the way I see it, it uh, Alexander Hamilton, yeah. the person was real, right? And, yeah. and Hamilton, the play is real, Yeah. okay? And those are both pretty amazing things. And, and even though reality isn't like the play, I think it's, you know, it's pretty special that, you know, we, we live in a world where, where people and um, all of us can do those amazing, magical things where, where, where we can be ourselves, where people can 
do things like play jazz. <laughs> <laughs> or fight for what they believe in! Or bring new life into the world. <laughs> or conduct the right pornography to the right person. <laughs> we don't achieve greatness by emulating others. We achieve greatness by becoming more and more ourselves. Alexander Hamilton didn't try to be like Descartes, and Lin-Manuel Miranda didn't try to be like Oscar Hammerstein. They found their passions and dedicated their lives to them. This sounds campy as fuck. <laughs> Go on, please. <laughs> I'm listening. Yeah. And then they, made, they created magical things that made the world better today. Fantastic. Yeah. Matt, yeah. so what are you passionate about? Well, I always thought I'd enjoy sketch comedy. <laughs> <laughs> well, guess what, buddy? You're doing it right now! <laughs> the lights in the audience?